freaks and germaphobes, what's up you guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to clean white baseball pants. Well, I'm gonna show you how to clean what was formerly white baseball pants. Now they're kind of a dingy brownish gray. Mind you, I've already washed these just through the regular wash and this is what we have. Now it looks just about as dirty as it did before I put it in the wash, but my son has a baseball tournament tomorrow, so I need to get these sparkling clean and white again. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, we're about cleaning, organizing, and disinfecting. So if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. But without any further ado, let's dive in. First off, let me just point out, this is not the least expensive way to clean your white pants, but if you have a kid that's got baseball or rugby or uh, football or anything else where you're gonna have white jerseys that you need to get clean a lot, I highly, highly recommend just invest in buying these products just so that you know I've actually already washed these. And I washed and I pre-sprayed them actually with OxyClean, just the regular OxyClean, and I even put OxyClean in the wash. And this is still how dirty they came out. This is almost just as bad as they were when I put them in. So I wanna emphasize when I say these products, you gotta actually make sure to get the right ones. So this is the OxyClean Max Force, okay? So you'll need this. And then this is the OxyClean White Revive. Okay, this, both of these are not like the typical OxyCleans that you get. They're all in the cleaning aisle. They're just not the normal standard kind that we all have. And then the last thing that you wanna have is some iron out. So let's dive in, I'll show you how I do it. So the first step is to just pre-treat it and we pre-treat it with the OxyClean Max Force. After you pre-treat it, you want this to sit for about an hour. So oftentimes I'll just go ahead and spray it just as soon as my son gets home from baseball and changes. So I'm just gonna spray down all the major stains. Once you've pre-treated it, you want it to sit for one hour. So I'm gonna let it sit right now, and I'll be back in one hour, and we will move on to part two. These pants have been sitting for an hour, so I'm now gonna move on to step two. What we're gonna do is we are gonna soak these pants in a solution of just very, very hot water, and this is called Super Iron Out Rust Stain Remover. Now the directions recommend that you use gloves, that you work in a ventilated area, don't get it on your skin, and try not to breathe it in. So what I like to do, before I put it in the bucket, is I just put a little bit of water at the bottom so that when I put this in there, it's not gonna poof up. The dust isn't gonna poof up into my face so much. Also, if you dump the whole thing in at once, it tends to do that a little bit more. I like to sprinkle it in a little bit at a time and then that helps to avoid you breathing in some of these vapors. So we're gonna add one half cup of this iron out into this bucket. And then I'm gonna fill this up about halfway full with really hot water. And then I'm gonna let these soak in here for about five hours. And I'm gonna put this in the bathtub just so it's out of the way. So I have let these pants soak for about five hours and the final step, step number three, I'm gonna wash my pants in my washer. I'm gonna use the hottest cycle that my washer can do and that's what I recommend that you do for you. I'm gonna put one scoop of OxyClean White Revive into the washer along with my normal laundry detergent. I'm gonna run a cycle and then I will come back and show you how it looks. So now I'm gonna show you the final result now that it's run through the wash. So let me show you the before picture. And now take a look at this. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. There's a spot right there that I think could have come a little bit cleaner. This looks like a grease spot, which I would actually treat a little bit differently. So I suppose if I wanted this to be perfectly, perfectly white, and I would treat that as well, but I would do it a little bit differently. But considering I didn't do any scrubbing, it took a little bit of time, but it did take a lot of effort. No, it did not, which is why I really love this. So. 
Um, oh, I would probably maybe get those parts again if I needed it to be perfect, but he's gonna dirty them again tomorrow and the next day, but that's the way that I do it if I wanna get it clean with little or no scrubbing. Now I do have another method that is a lot cheaper. You only have to buy one product and that product is like a buck. And I'm gonna be doing a video on how to get pants white using that method down the road. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when that video comes out. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you do try this method, I would love to know how it works for you. So make sure to put that in the comment section down below. At the end of this, I'm gonna put my video about my all day extreme laundry speed cleaning. It is a fun clean with me where I had a disaster of a laundry room and I was able to clean it up, do a little bit of organizing and deep cleaning. I'll put that at the end of this video. Click on that and I will see you over there.